hey guys what's up so let's just straight away start by showing you how you can use z link in your car so this is my android screen right now and here is my android smartphone the samsung s23 ultra so starting off head into the apps and let's just open up the z link 5 app so i've currently opened up the z link 5 app and it's going to scroll through a slide presentation right here so as you can see it shows both android auto and apple carplay displays it skips through the pages automatically and if you click on this button it shows you the wired mirroring option and if you want wireless there is a specific wireless mirroring option given right here so if you click on that it gives you the option of connecting via iphone or android phone for both wireless mirroring and for wired basically it shows you that connection right here and you can press on this button and move back to the main android auto or apple carplay options if we head into the settings you've got the driver position you've got the floating navigation option the hd option background connection default connection type and there's check for updates option wherein currently as you can see the version number is 5.2.17 and if i do click on that it says no update and then if i head into the about section as you can see it says z link and the current version is 5.2.17 so that being said let's head back and let's start off by connecting the car system with the bluetooth of my smartphone so for that let's just head into the home screen of the car system and head into the bluetooth settings or should i say the phone settings right here so this is the phone right here and if i enable the bluetooth on my smartphone and open up the bluetooth settings as well all right here's the bluetooth name so clicking on that all right so bluetooth is now automatically connected and it's also asking me to allow access to contacts i'll just deny it for now so bluetooth is connected let's head back to home and uh, once that's connected let's head into the z link app so as you're seeing on the screen right now the loading screen has already started you can see that loading animation and within a matter of few seconds android auto starts up on your screen this is extremely good z link 5 really works very well and since it's an updated version of the previous version number 3 they have refined the app very much and based on what i've seen and based on my personal usage the android auto experience on the z link 5 is pretty good so let's head into the settings screen and as you can see here is the main settings screen and of course you also get the main app screen for the android auto so you get all the android auto supported apps right here you can go through those as you like and even you have the spotify right here you've got the split screen mode i really like the split screen mode and there's one more interesting option which i wanted to show you and one more thing guys that even in android auto they've updated they've added an extra electric vehicle settings right here so as you can see get ev features for maps so you can just enable that if you do have an ev and following that you have to select the kind of connector sign kind of plug you have in your car and based on that it's going to point out where you can find the nearest charging point that being said it also gives you a taskbar widget so within this if you can enable this show quick controls for apps so i'll just enable that so as you can see spotify moved from the right corner and now it's at the bottom so basically it gives me a first hand experience of using both spotify both apps and basically i can control the music right here pretty easily so this is actually good i use this taskbar a lot and it makes using android auto very very convenient for me so this is simply good and i love the experience of using the z link 5 pairing my smartphone the connection is pretty fast and very practically usable so if you are interested in getting this z link for your android car system as well i'll leave your link in the description but do note that if you never previously had z link in your system the update or the apk file might just not work but if you previously had the z link and if you might have accidentally deleted it if you install this using the app which i have given in the description below you'll probably get the z link back in your car working like a charm so that's it this was the video for today showing you a quick overview of how you can use z link 5 and connect android auto and use also some of its important features thanks for watching and see you in the next one